Hi, I'm Becca, and today I'm going to show you how to make use of the demos available on Pavlovia, um, perhaps for your teaching, or even just to try out some classic tasks for yourself. So to do this, you first of all go to Pavlovia, uh, that's pavlovia.org. If you're not signed in already, I suggest you sign in, and then you just go to the Explore tab. Now this will load a number of studies that have already been created and made public on pavlovia.org. Now let's say I want to try the Stroop task. Now if I hover over this, I can see two icons appear. One looks a bit like a play um, icon and that says launch experiment and the second one says view code. Now to begin with, I just want to have a play with this experiment. So to do that, I click launch experiment. I then enter my participant ID. So I'm going to give myself the ID 600 and I'm just gonna click okay. So from here, I'm just gonna have a play with the Stroop task. And now the task is ended, how do I have a peek at my data? Now, one thing I could do is I could go back to pavlovia.org and remember this second icon here that said view code. Now, because this project is set to running, so you can see in green, it says running there, that means that the data will be saved from this project. So if I click on view code, I can actually see that the last, uh, the most recent update here was 32 seconds ago. And it was a data file uploaded from participant 600. So how do I access that? So what I can do is I can go to the folder called data where I see that that file from participant 600 has been saved. I click on this and because there's loads and loads of files here from people trying out this demo, what I can do is I can just click find file and I'm going to type in 600 underscore. That will bring up a CSV file that I can click on. And then if I just click on this little um, cloud icon, I can download that file to my local desktop to have a peek at the data. Okay, so hopefully that's been a useful primer as to how to use the demos on Pavlovia and how to have a peek at your data. Now, some of you might be wanting to just make adaptations to those demos or perhaps just share a URL with students so that they can run it locally or run it on their phone. And that's something that we will cover in a separate tutorial.